I find your company to be maybe the most fascinating company, fascinating company in the world right now. And that's because you are the platform for far more than games. You are the platform for the future of what we see, what we do, and what we think. I do not think I am overstating this. I'm going to give you the floor to talk about the possibilities and prospects of what Unity is doing now, but what it's going to do. Well, sure. So today, um, Unity does a lot of things, but at our heart, at the core of our business, we're a SaaS company. And we provide the underlying technology for anything that is real-time 3D. So we started in gaming. So 70% of the world's mobile games are built on our technology. This is the technology that manages the, the animation, the rendering, the physics, the lighting, the UI, the UX, every pixel you see. But it's not just 70% of everything mobile. It's half of all games, 30% of 30 to 70% of all console games, over half of all mobile games, two thirds of all AR and VR applications. But it's even beyond all of that. You know, whether it's retailers, most of the top auto companies, construction companies, architecture companies, uh, BMP Paribas has, you know, recreated a model of Paris for the real estate division using Unity, as has the Hong Kong airport. So what's happening is people are taking data ingesting it into, into the Unity technology platform and giving people a real-time volumetric look at things. It is frantic, it, it, it's the future. It's the future of the metaverse. It's the future of the internet, which is much the same thing. I think in, in years to come, what we're gonna see is instead of you know shopping online and, and seeing a, a model wearing a shirt like this that might be better looking and taller and cooler looking than me, it'll be me in that model because I'm experiencing it in real time. And I can make that same argument about dozens and dozens of industries, whether it's you know, virtual twins for manufacturing where the data is coming off, it'll change the way things like sports broadcast work where you can take data off of cameras and give it to consumers in a way that allows them to interact in that environment. And our platform does really two things. We create those real-time 3D environments so you can consume them. But inside of our SaaS platform, our tools are on analytics, monetization, voice, backend, cloud service that supports the operation of those. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.